Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on Sun Lens, I'm gonna do something I have always told everyone don't ever do. And that is, I'm gonna shoot today street photography with on-camera flash. I have Jamie and her partner, Marisa. They're a creative team here in New York City, and they're doing some fun shots of them in these crazy outfits, walking around New York. And we're gonna use this kind of really in-your-face uh, street photography style where you use on-camera flash. Well, let's just get out there and shoot some stuff and see what we can do. Woo! There we go. All right, we're off. <laughs> To get this on-camera flash look, I'm going to use a speed light on my Canon using TTL flash. I will not allow my shutter speed to go below a 60th of a second. I will not allow my shutter speed to go above 1 200th of a second. I'm now set my aperture, shutter speed, and ISO in manual settings to give me what I think is the right exposure. Then the speed light set to TTL is going to flash the subject and open everything up and give it that flash look. Sounds a lot more complicated than it really is. Set your camera on manual, get the exposure that you think is correct, and then the flash is gonna fill it in the TTL mode and make it look really cool. So this is really a lot of fun. We're just walking around. When we jumped on this guy's uh, produce truck, he was pretty excited about that. He thought it that made his day. So I'm trying to go to multiple tops, so I'm really shooting. It's shooting at about 60 of a second at, at 4.5, so my focus is a little bit of a problem. I went to a broader uh, focus array so I can try to pick them up. So we're just gonna keep shooting away. This is too fun. Okay, so you guys are gonna jump up. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna jump down, wait for me to tell you. And now. On your speed light, there is an exposure compensation which allows you to under or overexpose the flash by three stops. So if it's just way too hot, you don't like what you're getting, you can dial it down a stop. I find that when you get a manual exposure that's pretty close for the situation that you're in, then you can use that TTL, it works great. So Dickie just asked me the question, why am I using a 2470 rather than a 24 prime? I just like the versatility of being able to zoom in, catch things, zoom back out. It's just for ease of use and quickness, just keep moving fast. 24 prime would work for most of these, but it just gives me the ability to get in quick, get a quick tight shot. And if I was having to change lenses, it would just be too hard to do. So that's the main reason. Also, I don't need a 1.8 or 1.2 or I don't need that here. A 2.8 has plenty of depth of field. I don't want to, I actually want to be a little, uh, have a little more depth of field than that, like a 4.5 or a 5.6, because I want to see into the scene just a little bit. I don't want it to be a bokeh, you know, everything's isolated, disappear. I want it to be contextual. I want to see the, the world they're living in. Still recording, looking fine. Alley drop, alley test, success. So the light is looking really nice now because it's getting a little darker as we shoot them, the flash is gonna brighten some up. I mean, we're, they're wearing the white, so it doesn't take much to really make them stand out. We're in New York City. Okay. As the sun goes down and light starts to wane and the city lights come on, I may use a tripod to get myself, to give myself an exposure that I want for the neon lights and the lights of the city. Allowing myself to go longer than a 60th of a second because I'm not hand holding it. But again, it's just get the correct manual exposure, let the TTL flash fill it in. So what am I looking for in this kind of situation? I'm looking for a lot of different things, but one is leading lines. Any kind of line that's gonna draw me into the photograph. The counter at the uh, cafe where they sit at the counter, that leading line kind of draws me in. Any color depth, you see the warmth of the tungsten inside? If I use a strobe up front, that warmth gives me depth and gives me a really interesting look and it feels deep in the image. What's making this interesting now is I'm really combining the strobe with the, the ambient light that's here, the signs, the warmth inside the building. All those kinds of things that come together make a really beautiful image. So you get the really warm tungsten light inside the building, you get the sign, light on the signs outside because the exposure now is close enough together. We're really at nighttime, but then I've got that bright flash on them and their white leotards just makes it really easy to see. So there you have it, shooting candid street photography, really just walking around and shooting, trying to bounce that strobe, that on-camera flash to open up the subject, get that kind of paparazzi look, 
and really let the, the tungstens burn in, let the street lights burn in, and kind of combine those three. You think we got some, some great stuff? We got some great stuff. Yes! <laughs> I think we really did get some great stuff. So shooting with on-camera flash can look fabulous in a lot of different ways. You can blend it a little bit, and you'll see some of the images where it does blend more, and other times it's just very blatant in your face, very paparazzi. It looks really cool. So just that kind of street photography look, it looks fabulous. So there you have it. Keep those cameras rolling. And keep, keep on, on clicking! clicking. You gotta subscribe, you gotta hit the like button, you gotta leave some comments, and you can follow us on all social media outlets like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. There you go, you got it from the, the original Rude Boy right there, yeah! Yeah, yeah, so make sure you subscribe. <laughs>